Hello everyone! Welcome to the second episode of Problem Solving Made Easy. I'm Teacher Eileen, and today we are going to learn this method known as the elimination method. Okay, this is a very important method taught at P4, and you'll probably see in the coming years, maybe up to secondary school. So let's master this today and not give it a chance to haunt you in future, okay? Let's start by looking at this question. Four bowls of soup and six plates of chicken rice cost $20. If a bowl of soup and a plate of chicken rice cost $3.50, how much does a plate of chicken rice cost? Okay, so after reading this question, I need you to think about what the question is all about. Okay, Here, we have bowls of soup as well as plates of chicken rice. In order to simplify the question, let's write what we know in mathematical statements. Okay, From the first sentence, we know that if we were to buy four bowls of soup okay, and six plates of chicken rice, we would have to pay $20. Okay, so we should be able to come up with something like this. Four soup plus six chicken rice equals to $20. All right. And then for the next part, we also know that if we were to buy one bowl of soup and one plate of chicken rice, how much do we have to pay? Yep we have to pay $3.50. Okay, so we will write that as one soup plus one chicken rice equals to $3.50. So after writing these two statements, do you notice anything similar between them? Okay, you realize that both of them consist of a certain number of soup and a certain number of plates of chicken rice, correct? And then the total cost of uh, each type of combination is given. Okay? So here, this question actually gives us two relationships between the bowls of soup and the plates of chicken rice. Okay? The first relationship is given on top and the second one below. Okay? So it's very important to remember that we're actually comparing different combinations of soup and chicken rice to their prices. So whenever we see a question like this, where we are given two types of items, okay, and also two types of relationship between them, we need to apply this method known as the elimination method to solve it. Okay, don't worry too much if you totally have no idea how this works, okay, because I'll walk you through it in a short while. Now it's time to see how the elimination method works. Okay, before we start, elimination comes from the word eliminate, correct? So to eliminate something actually means to get rid of something. Okay, so what do you usually get rid of? Well, most of the time you get rid of rubbish or get rid of things that you don't want, correct? Okay, so here we'll do the same thing. The first step of the elimination method is to throw away the unwanted. Okay, so previously we know that we have two types of item, correct? Okay, the soup and chicken rice. Cute. Since the question asks us to find the cost of the chicken rice, do we need to know the cost of the soup? Nah, probably not, right? So therefore, the soup here is unwanted, okay? And we need to get rid of it. So far, so good? Now that we know what we want to get rid of, you might be wondering, so how exactly do we do that? Well, the next step is actually to make the number of unwanted items the same. So remember, previously we have two relationships from the question. Okay, so in order to make the unwanted item disappear, all we need to do is to ask ourselves, what is the common multiple between 4 and 1? It's 4, right? So let's do some magic and transform the second relationship into a new one. Okay, here, how do I turn one bowl of soup into four bowls of soup? All I need to do is to times 4, correct? So 1 soup times 4, I will have 4 soups. And after doing that, we have to do the same to each individual item. Okay, so 1 soup times 4, this is what I get. Then I need to take 1 chicken rice, K okay, times 4, I will have 4 chicken rice. And then $3.50, I also need to times 4. Okay, and this will give me a value of $14. Okay, we're actually halfway done already, okay. 
you realize that we have four bowls of soup in the first uh, relationship, correct? And we also have four bowls of soup in the new relationship. So now we can happily compare them. Okay, so let's try to find the price of the plates of chicken rice. In order to do that, can you see that we simply take relationship one, okay, minus our new relationship. So four soups minus four soups, I will have no more soups, correct? So the soup will actually disappear. And then six plates of chicken rice minus four plates of chicken rice, I'll be left with two plates of chicken rice. Okay, and the cost of that okay, would be $20 minus $14. So after we do that, we'll be able to find out that two plates of chicken rice actually cost a total value of $6. Is this the final answer? Going back to the question, we realize that the question is actually asking us for one plate of chicken rice, correct? Not two plates. So in order to solve for the answer, all we need to do is to take $6 divided by 2, and this will give us a final value of $3, alright? Now that we're done, it's time to do a quick check, just to check if our answers are really correct. Okay guys, you need to know that checking is always a good habit. Okay, so that we can prevent any careless mistake that we might make in our calculations. Can you imagine spending so much time and effort trying to solve a problem and then in the end you realize that your answer is wrong? Okay, just because of a careless mistake somewhere in your working? Horrible, right? So let's work smart and not let such an unfortunate thing happen to us. Previously, we have calculated that one plate of chicken rice cost us $3, correct? So, what we need to do now is to make use of our answer to find the cost of a bowl of soup and from there, we need to see if the total cost given a certain combination of soup and chicken rice whether it is the same as the one given in the question. Okay, I'll show you what that means. So, since we know that one plate of chicken rice cost us $3 and a bowl of soup and a plate of chicken rice cost us $3.50 Okay, we can easily find out the cost of a bowl of soup, correct? All we need to do is to take $3.50, okay, minus $3, which gives us a value of $0.50. Cents. Wow, very cheap, right? So I think it must be canteen food. So now that we know the cost of each item, let's put in the known value into the first relationship, okay? Since one plate of chicken rice costs us $3, six plates of chicken rice, okay, would cost us Three dollars times six, okay, eighteen dollars, and then four bowls of soup, okay, would cost us fifty cents times four, okay, two dollars. Here in the question, we are given that the total cost of four bowls of soup and six plates of chicken rice is twenty dollars. So we need to add this up to see whether we are able to get the same amount. We will take eighteen plus two. And this gives us a value of $20, okay? So it's exactly the same as what is given. So there we go. We can finally confirm that our answer is correct. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for you today. I hope that this video has been useful to all of you out there. And of course, the best way to test whether you have mastered this skill is to practice solving similar problems. Okay, and you can always do that by joining us at practical.sg, where we learn things the fun and smart way. If you like this video or find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below or simply share this with your friends. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!